desires, an interpreter is available for her. Now, our first contestant in the Miss Universe interview competition is you, Miss Germany. Would you step right out here to me, please? <laughs> Miss Germany is Brigitte Barrett. She's 22, and she manages a ladies' boutique, and I believe you would like to have a translator. Yes, I like. Would you help us, please? She manages a ladies boutique. Ask her to tell us about her job, please. Sag uns ein bisschen über deine Arbeit. Also erstmal kaufe ich ein für eine Boutique. Ich sorge dafür, dass das Personal immer rechtzeitig da ist. I buy for for a boutique and I always make sure that all the personnel is on their own time. Uh, she's a buyer. Yes. And does she travel uh, about Europe buying or uh, where does she buy? Reist du durch Europa, um zu kaufen? Nein, ich gehe auf Messen, zum Beispiel die Egedo in Düsseldorf. Und da ordere ich die Ware vor, viel aus Italien. Das ist ziemlich modern. I go to different fairs and I order the merchandise from uh, different cities and import them into Düsseldorf. Like most women, does she buy a lot of clothes for herself? Kaufst du auch viel Kleider für dich selbst ein? Ja, ab und zu auch mal. Now and again, yes. As a buyer, does she have to pay the full price? Musst du den vollen Preis kaufen, bezahlen als Käuferin? Nein, ich bekomme den Einkaufspreis. No, I get the well, wholesale price. For Miss Germany, the price is right. Thank you, Miss Germany. Thank you. You'll see the score at home, and we'll talk with Miss, U Miss USA. She is May Shanley, 21, from Almogordo, New Mexico. You're studying education at New Mexico State University, and you were crowned Miss USA on the 17th of May up here in Lakeland, Florida. And what's happened to you since? Well, since I've been crowned Miss USA for the last month and a half, I've been tr in a whirlwind of activities. I've been in 15 cities, east and west of the United East and west in the United States, north and south. And most important, I've had the opportunity to come here to the Universe Pageant to meet 82 wonderful contestants. And this is a place where we've been able to um, emphasize mutual understanding and get to know each other. And I've also had the opportunity to meet our president, President Reagan of the United States of America. Wow, wonderful. Now, all of us, all of us, see President Reagan on television all the time. Uh, what's he like in person? President Reagan is a very gentle person, and I had the opportunity to present him with the signed program book. I was like a spokesperson for the 82 contestants, and he was very nice, and he was very honored. He kept it in the Oval Office, and as a matter of fact, he said he wished all the girls the best of luck in the 1984 Miss Universe pageant. Did you invite him to watch the telecast? I sure did. In the event that he is, Mr. President, I would like to talk about the personal income tax. <laughs> no, this is a fun show. Thank you, Miss USA. Thank you. Miss Thailand, would you join me right out here? She's Savine Targanong, and she's 19. She lives in Bangkok. And tell us about the fun you've been having in Miami, would you please? I've been having lots of fun here with all the girls. We've been to the beach and to the many sites that are here in Miami. Met a lot of people and had a lot of fun. You speak perfect English. Where did you learn to speak English so well? In Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Were you an exchange student? No, I, I lived in Los Angeles for many years. Oh, you did? Where'd you yes. go to high school? Temple City High School. <laughs> Here she is from one of the most exotic countries in the world, a graduate of Temple City High School in Los Angeles. What, what are your plans for the future, Ms. Thailand? I plan to um, go back to school. Where, in Los Angeles? Yes, of UCLA. Course. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? And then plan to open a business of my own around the fields of fashion or health, health spa. Back in Thailand? Yes. No, we must convince them that, uh, that you do speak Thai. Uh, I know what they'd like to hear. You tell this audience that the Miami University football team will win it all again in 1984 in Thai. Now wait, she's going to, she's going to tell you in Thai. Team football of Miami is going Is that all there is to it? Yes. All right, thank you, Miss Thailand. The Hurricanes hope it'll be that easy. 
your score at home, but we do not see that in the theater, nor do the judges see it. I'm going to talk with you next, Miss Sweden. She's Yvonne Reading. She's 21. She's a licensed practical nurse. How long have you been a nurse? Three and a half years. And your chaperone told me that you have gone to a Miami hospital with a sore throat. Yes, I am. <laughs> As a nurse, do you think they took good care of you there at the Miami hospital? Yes, they took very good care of me, yes. That should be reassuring to you folks who are planning to get sick here in Miami. Now, you are a practical nurse. Yes. And uh, you are here in Miami. Have you, have you been to the United States before? Yes, I have. This is the third time in the United States. Where have you visited? I have been for six years ago. I was in New Jersey and played soccer. <laughs> Where else? And I've been in Seattle, Washington State. In Washington? Yes. Did you visit Darrington, Washington? No. Did the state officials tell you anything about the historical significance of Darrington, Washington? Uh... <laughs> you mean no one told you that Bob Barker was born in no. Darrington, Washington? <laughs> no. There was no monument on the highway? <laughs> Not I'm even a refrigerator? I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You're forgiven. Thank you, Miss Sweden. Thank you. Now, Miss Holland, who is Nancy Nada, 20, from Amsterdam, a model, and Miss Holland, is this your first trip to yeah, the United States? Yeah, it's my first trip, and I love it. Good. What are you going to tell your friends back in Holland about our country? Uh, it's big. A beautiful beach and I try to work here you'd like to work here yes model yeah I speaking like of working I read in your bio that your father is a master of ceremony yeah he is he's terrific he's sitting over there with a white suit <laughs> he's here he's here and <laughs> He's here, and he's handsome, and he's an MC, and I hope he goes home tomorrow. <laughs> thank you, Miss Holland. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. see her score. And you have met half of our semifinal.